What is going on my modest? Welcome back to another video. If it's your first time on the channel and you've never heard of modism before, modism is the lifestyle of modding vehicles. But if you want to learn more about us and represent us to the world, be sure to go to modism.com, link in the description below. Anyways folks, let's jump right into it. Today, your boy is gonna be picking up another car. Yes, that's right, you heard me correctly. I really never expected to be doing this, especially at this point in time. <laughs> but what can I say, being on Facebook Marketplace is dangerous. And I have the cash ready to go. There's no backing out. Also, I didn't tell my parents I was doing this, so I guess I'm just gonna show up with a new car. But hey, it's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. Actually, I don't even know if they would trip off of it. We'll find out. Also, if you guys hear a little crackling sound in the audio, I don't know why, but I think this camera might be going out. I know I just got it not too long ago, so I'm not really sure what the issue is, but if it happens, I apologize in advance. Anyway, Vaughn is on his way to pick me up. He has absolutely no idea what I'm picking up today, so it should be a nice surprise. I'm so glad that the wrap is finally done. Came out a lot better than I expected, but let's check out the front. Hey, Type R hood was definitely the move. I might also be swapping that out for a carbon one very soon. The front end is definitely one of my favorite parts. But anyway, folks, let's hit the road. All right, y'all, we got four minutes till we're there. You got any guesses? These on, bro, these on. Nothing specific, but these has been these. Nothing specific? Okay, okay, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Could be a S2K, could be a Toyota. We don't know. Oh, snap. You've been saying, oh, you've been saying S2K a little bit too much right now. Oh! And this oh Wait, no, you didn't say that. <laughs> that one, that one, I was like, ooh, that one might be a dead giveaway if I say that. Man, y'all are not ready for this. Really, I'm not even ready for this. My parents ain't ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're pulling up to the spot right now. I don't think he's here yet, but it'd be a nice surprise if he was. Black car. Yeah, that's right, guys. I'm getting a BMW SUV. <laughs> I see it. What? I see it. It's here? Yep, I see it. What the f <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> I called it, bro. Let's you, fucking, fucking go! No way. Oh my god. Okay, let's do this. Holy fucking shit, bro. Sorry for cussing. Bro, fucking called it, bro. I called it! I told the guys it had to be a 32. It had to be a Nissan. Ain't no way for 20k. I fucking knew it, bro. Shit! The boy's gonna be happy, bro. All right, so we just officially bought the car. It is now 100% mine. Check this out, guys. Yo, freaking R32 Skyline. Holy cow. And the fact that it's a coupe makes it so much better. Sheesh! Dude, I really did this, man. This was such a... Impromptu, spontaneous decision. Definitely my most reckless purchase ever. <laughs> but hey, the money was worth it. I'm happy. This is so sick. I can't wait to drive it home. But as you can see, it comes with some work wheels. These came off of a R34. I believe this is called a factory Euro kit. Super sick. Rear end is absolutely amazing. I think the only thing I would do is probably retouch up the tint, uh, remove the front tint, and then maybe a GTR spoiler? I don't know. Damn, this shit crazy! Who told us to do this? Who told us to do this? <laughs> Look at that, guys. Only a hundred eight and a half thousand kilometers on here. I believe that's like 67,000 miles. Pretty good condition. Yeah, let's fire it up. First time driving right hand drive. Insane. Here we go. That shit sounds insane. Hold on, let's give it a baby rev. <laughs> no way, bro. RB power? Dude, that shit sounds insane, man. Let's listen to that exhaust now. I like it, it's not too loud. Well guys, I just made it back home. The first drive was a success. I was a little bit nervous if I'm being honest. Driving right hand drive is a really interesting feeling. For one, I'm not used to looking over my left shoulder to check for blind spots. At times I did find myself veering a little bit towards the left, but the weirdest part about it, the shifting. It's gonna take me a minute to get used to that. I kid you not, I literally drove home like I just learned manual. But all things considered, I am loving this car. 
Definitely needs an alignment, not a big issue. Shifter works fine. E-brake works fine. Got these super cool Reebok Skyline mats in here. And so far from what I could tell, the gas gauge is broken as well as the hazard lights. But turn signals and headlights, taillights, all that stuff works. Interior wise, everything's pretty solid. Don't mind the crack on the dash. I'm probably just gonna do an overlay on that. Damn, check that out. The seats are pretty mint too. Also, I didn't even give it everything it has, but on this drive, it definitely felt like it pulls. I am loving this car and I have to get used to reading kilometers because I have no idea how fast I was going the entire time. All I know is 160 miles per hour. Man, we made it home. Anyway, the weather is a bit foggy right now, but I think I might give the car a quick wash. Bro, my mom literally just saw the car. So as soon as I got home, I was gonna go inside, but my mom happened to be right there. So then she walked outside, turned around the corner and goes, do you need to pull this into the garage? Are you working on it? And I was like, no. So then she said, did you buy another car? I was like, yeah. Long story short, she was super supportive of it and she was very interested in what the car was. Not a hint of criticism at all. I guess I just gotta show my dad now. I also didn't end up washing it because the weather was terrible and plus my mom was using the power washer. So I will save that probably for another video. There are spider webs all over this car plus dust. A little TLC should bring this baby back to life. Right now I'm off to show Kristen's cousins the car. But this is so fun to drive, I absolutely love it. Kinda smells like my old Lexus ES300. But man, right hand drive baby. Check out this alignment man. The wheel is tilted so far but this is technically straight. Hey, no way. Skyline on Skyline Boulevard, let's get it. I can't push it too hard right now because it is an upgraded turbo and the car did just cold start, but hopefully we can get some cool clips later. So we just stopped by the cousin's house. They absolutely loved it, but now we're gonna go see the boys and let's get Dylan's reaction. All right, we should be pulling up soon. Man, everyone I come across loves this car. It's so amazing to see. Let's get it! Let's fucking go! Safe to say, he loves it. Dude, look at this guy. He's on his knees, bro. He can't believe it. <laughs> That's insane, man. Hey! <laughs> Got Sean and Kian over there. Yeah, all the homies loving the car. That's the sub. What do you think, man? <laughs> no! Yes, sir, I got a skyline. <laughs> oh, oh shit! God. Oh shit! Oh my god! <laughs> you know how it? Christopher Oonge! Go check it out, man. Indeed, right hand drive, baby. <laughs> Oh, it's just nuts, bro. No! It's fast, dude. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I was like kind of gassing it over here. Jeez. What the fuck? <laughs> well, after a long day of driving this car around and surprising the homies, I think it's time for me to knock out because I've been up since 3.30 a.m. But before we end the video, let me just say thank you guys so much for making all of this a possibility. I never thought I would be saying that I would own R32 Skyline at 21 years old. I'm really not kidding. I thought I would buy this car maybe like 10 years in the future. I was raised to be super practical, always save my money and work, work, work. And I can't lie, I've wanted a car for the past three years now and I think this has been a long time coming. I'm super grateful to be where I'm at doing what I do. But of course, that is all thanks to you guys. And I am a religious man now, but if you guys aren't, sorry. Sorry, but thank God! Seriously, God works in mysterious ways. And I can't help but appreciate the process and the results. I really hope you guys enjoyed the new car reveal. Be sure to comment down below what your guesses were before I revealed it, as well as your reactions to what it actually is. And of course, before we end things off, let's take one last look at the exterior. Oh man, clean ass right hand drive. Look at these seats, guys. Mac oh, you can see my butt print right there. <laughs> But yeah, these seats are so clean. The rear seats, absolutely untouched. Look at the side, what is it called? Door, door cards? Yeah, those are uncracked as well. The dash for the most part is pretty nice up until about here, which I really don't mind. Steering wheel could use a refresh and an alignment, but I'd probably do that after some coilovers or something. Absolutely beautiful. Rear tint could use a refresh. The front windshield is actually tinted and I would like to have it removed completely. That's perfect, that's perfect. My beautiful work Kiwamis, I believe is what they're called. But yeah, let's look at the rear end. Oh my god, skydine, holy shit. I didn't know this, but the GTS-T badge is actually a stickers and mine is fading. That one looks like it was removed, but... Oh, actually, I can still feel it. 
<sighs> Such a beautiful rear end. So as of right now, that tail light, that tail light, and that tail light work, and that one right there is out, so I might have to replace a bulb. But luckily, most of this is in tip-top shape. Really digging the factory Euro kit on there. It's so beautiful. Plus, I love the black. Oh man, this is such a blessing, guys. Thank you so much. What? What the? F Excuse my language, but what the fuck? Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, I can't get over this. And the cool part is the only dent on this car is this little part right here. The rest of the body is pretty immaculate. The paint is in excellent condition. Aside from a little bit of clear coat there, a little mark there, but you know, this car is over 30 years old, so you really can't complain. This is as good as it gets. As for that, I'm glad it's already damaged because if it was perfect and I damaged it myself, I would have hated myself. And I thought somebody keyed the hood, but luckily that's just a big spider web. But yeah, I'm super excited for my ownership journey with this car. I don't really plan on doing much with it considering the motor is pretty well built as is. Sorry, not built. It's like an OEM plus. I think the only thing I would do is probably wheels and suspension, but I love the work wheels. So I guess just suspension. And maybe if I really love this car and keep it in the future, we'll probably build the motor and try to push over 450. Will I drift this car? Probably not. I think I would love to pick up a Miata drift missile for that purpose. But once again, thank you guys so much for tuning in and making it all the way to the end. Of course, anyone that wants to represent Modism or learn more about us, be sure to go to Modism.com, link in the description below, because that is where all of our merchandise and information is located. But my Modest, as always, until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, and I'll see you guys soon.